Mark, how do you sum up your race? Was it tyres and traffic today? Yeah, it was uh, quite an enjoyable Grand Prix up until, uh, you know, when you make uh, the wrong decision from the cockpit. I uh, made the right one to go to the slicks when I did, which worked out well. But, you know, you look uh, completely stupid when you're only on the intermediates for two, two, two laps. So um, if it rains heavier for another three or four minutes, then that's the right decision. So uh, that's the, 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 the roll of the dice you've got to make. Obviously, um, the difference between the slicks and the inters when it was wet was a lot. So uh, it was my call. Um, I decided to roll the dice. And uh, if it worked, obviously, you win, you win big. If you lose, uh, I lost some position. So uh, in the end, um, that's the way it was today. And uh, yeah, at the end, obviously, you, when you catch uh, about four or five cars in the middle sector, um, you know, uh, the Sauber was uh, driving on the line with uh, no pace at all. So um, I could not go anywhere. But as you say, you want to make these brave decisions and you came in earlier than anybody else and went on to those slicks. Just tell us about your start, though, because you dropped back a couple of places. How difficult were conditions at that stage? Uh, yeah, pretty tricky. Um, it was pretty slippery on that side of the grid, I think. Um, got away uh, reasonable. I saw the, the, the Mercedes and those guys uh, got a very good start as well. Oh, well, uh, more better than me, for sure. So... Um, yeah, and that was the first part of the race, but you knew it was going to be some more decisions late in the race, which uh, I got some right, some wrong.